Hey guys, good morning. So now we're gonna go over the interior, engine bay, and trunk of this absolutely stunning 1958 Cadillac Eldorado Barretz. 365 horsepower V8, tri-power. And we're gonna, we're gonna confirm, we believe that this is the original motor with the car. We're gonna do some digging because I wanna make sure that we're, you, know, you guys are getting what you think you're getting. We, we believe that this is the original motor and it's all matching numbers. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna leave that with a question mark for right now, but we're gonna wind up confirming that before the end of the auction. This car has air ride and it has air conditioning as well, which is you know pretty rare to still see everything intact. Now, however, for some reason, um, it has regular shocks on the car. So even though all the components are here for the air ride, the air ride does not work because it does not have air ride shocks. So if you wanna make it correct, that's something you're gonna have to do. The air conditioning, compressor kicks on, I can hear the fan kick on, I can hear air coming out, but I can't feel it, nor can I tell if it's cold. But the compressor does work, it does kick on, there is Freon in the system. Um, I don't know, I mean, you know, there's gonna be some things, we try to sort these cars out the best we can, and we had a, 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 my local mechanic come and look at it and he did the best he can. He got the air working, he got the fan coming on. And when we do the driving video, I'll turn it on for you. It just, there's just no air coming out. You can hear it, but you can't feel it. So you got that going on. Antenna, I'm assuming is probably power, maybe, but it's not, it's just in a, a stationary position. The radio actually did come on, the radio works. And, uh, let's get back to the engine bay. Look how clean and sort of, I mean, it looks great. I mean, it's a very nice, clean, solid engine bay. There's no rust, there's no corrosion. Everything looks like it's supposed to look, okay? Um, up under the hood, if you look up under here, there was, there's been some, some touch-ups where the hood closed and maybe nicked some paint here and there. You got, you got that going on. That's pretty much typical. And some of that stuff's been touched up around this side the same way. On this side, there's two little spots. We can touch those up, but I suspect they'll probably nick again. They, they, they just hit this inner spot a little bit. I mean, the, 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 the gaps look fine. When, when you look at all the picture, it looks fine, but there is, you know, I guess the weight of the hood and, and its little flexibility, it, it may have chipped it there. So you've got that going on. Again, very minimal. That's pretty cool. Cool card holder for the owner's identification card. This car fires up every time, runs like a champ, as far as the running condition goes. Inside of the car is beautiful. Got all silver interior. The upholstery is perfect. The carpets, dash, door panels, all that stuff looks great. Some of the bright work in here is a little substandard. It's not perfect, perfect. It has some pitting here on the sides. And if you look at all the pictures, I take very good pictures of everything. The side piece here on the side has some chrome that's failing a little bit. But again, you know, this was a complete nut and bolt restoration in 1995, and it's been driven since then. And again, the, the restoration was done by Frank Nicodemus, which is very well known. Uh, we talked about the New York Times article called The Cadillac Man, which they featured him in it. It was the article was all about him. And it was about basically if you if you um, want your Cadillac restored properly, he's the guy to go to. And that's who did this car. So it, it shows very well. Now, as far as what works and what doesn't work, um, the radio does work. The clock does work. The wipers work. There's a separate switch the last 58 Cadillac I had I had an Eldorado or 57 I had the, the wipers work by those switches on the side of the panel there below the power window switches it's not working by that but there does seem to have a correct style knob under the key uh, uh, key ignition that turns the wipers on so they do work horn blows everything inside does like it should again the air conditioning when it comes on I can hear the blower motor coming on the air the, the, the compressors off it sounds like there's air coming from behind this dash, but I, I can't I can't feel it or, or tell if it's cold. So again, something for you to consider. Uh, the mold, the, the, the rubber door strips all still look good. Everything's in good shape. You know, minimal wear and tear from its 1995 original restoration. Doors are solid, they close solid. Gaps look respectable. Now coming around to the trunk, all right? Nice size trunk, super clean, spare tire. All the stickers where they should be. Rubber strip is all good and in good shape. Now, this should have a power. I think it's supposed to. I could be wrong, so I'll leave it to the experts to decide if I'm misspeaking or not. So when you close the trunk, I think the last one I had it sucked down on its own. This is not doing that. Okay. So when I go to close it, 
and I'll be very careful. I'll put a little pressure on it. A little, a little. It closes, but there's still a little bit of, it's locked, but there's a little bit of play right there. So we're not sure what's going on there. Again, full disclosure, I want you to know what you're getting. Not, I mean, in my opinion, it's not a big deal. You got your power trunk switch in the glove box, which works. I haven't found a key yet on the key ring that unlocks that lock. So I've been just unlocking it from the glove box. Again, this is really cool, really nice finish, having the fiberglass cover for the, for the top. Again, door panels on this side, same thing. Very nice, very clean. Most of the bright work is nice. Some pitting, okay? Power seats are trying to work. You can hear the motors going, but you can see the seat is not, it's not doing anything, okay? All the power windows work, has power side vents. That power vent on that side was working, but it's currently not working, so we're gonna see this side works. Okay. Oh, well, there it goes. It is working, actually. Okay, I take that back. So the power, both power vents work, so we're good there. So check it out, guys. Any questions, put them in the comment section. And up next is a driving video. Hey.